Okay. It now helps. we're good. It helps when you turn it up. Now we're good. <laughs> now we're live. All right. Sorry. I had muted my audio for a separate reason. Um, so just to let you know, uh, once again, I'm Paul. I'm with the Dicey Review. Um, and this is my brother, David. And we are here. Hello. To play uh, the Barbarian Hordes faction for Imperial Settlers Empires of the North. Um, just to let you know, we have um, uh, one hour to do this, which means realistically 45 to 50 minutes. So we probably will not finish a game. Of probably not. <laughs> no. Real settlers and bars of we'll the play fast. But we will try and play as quickly as we can, and we will try and, uh, most importantly, explain what these factions are about. Uh, give you an overview of, of what they're trying to do and what their strengths and weaknesses are. I am going to be playing the... Yurvart clan uh, and our thing this clan right here our thing is that we have these uh, we have these raiding tokens that we can uh, ambush tokens sorry that we can put on our opponent's buildings and if David activates his building then I will get um, a, a reward I won't get it directly from David but I'll get it from the supply if he has certain things and then David you are going to be playing the Boudicca clan the Boudicca clan and what we're what we do is we Use the might of our rafts and ships to uh, come and pillage and uh, do our best to uh, take take things from other people. Start with a few rafts and a ship, a couple of rafts and a ship, and uh, hopefully gain a lot more throughout the course of the game. So we'll see what happens, see how that plays out. Yes, he will gain more. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Welcome also everyone. Sorry if you didn't hear it earlier. I, I don't know if we had audio or not, but welcome to everybody uh, from Periscope, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. Where are we brought YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the things. Welcome. Uh, we're so excited that you're here. And please remember to uh, you know like uh, like the stream, share the stream with your friends, um, tweet about it. All those all those things. Um, you know so that we can continue to reach new people with this content. Um, and if you have if you have questions, <laughs> the oh crap there is an audio look. That's absolutely right, Von. Roller. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the chat. I will try my best to monitor chat and answer questions um, as they come up. We are going to try and move kind of quickly so that you can see some gameplay. But yeah, once again, ask questions if you have them. We'll try and answer it. I can hear again. Awesome. Thank you, Dutch. So. Uh, to start out the game, it's the exact same as any other uh, any other Empires of the North game. We're going to draw five cards and keep three of them. And we will try and talk through our, our choices here, the cards that we're keeping and why, just to, to give you an idea. Um, so once again, to kind of talk through my strategy of what my faction can do, I can use ambush tokens to gain something from my opponent, but I also have the ability to um, use my ambush tokens to get points based on how many ambush tokens I have out there. So... Um, can all of the expansions fit in the Empire of the North box? Uh, Ruby, I will tell you, I sleeve everything. So right now, <laughs> no, for me. But for if me, you don't they sleeve, can. Yes. Yeah, if you don't sleeve cards, yes. Yeah, they, they, I don't sleeve my cards, and they all fit in in the box. Um, and actually, there's room for at least two more factions the way the box is laid out. So even if you sleeve it, uh, if you store them the way I do, there may be room for everything. I don't know. It's possible. Well, it's good that we're playing the Barbarian faction because my brother is a Barbarian. <laughs> he doesn't sleeve his cards. He's an absolute, just Barbarian. But all my stuff is in one box. I'll oh, tell you that much for sure. It's a struggle. <laughs> I want my things to be in one box, but I want them to be protected. Uh, all right, I'm looking at my starting cards here. And I am going to try and keep things that will allow me to put uh, ambush tokens on cards. And I'm gonna keep one card uh, that allows me to get a boost action here. This this lone wolf card, I'm not a huge fan of it uh, because I don't like raiding things from our opponent. Oh, I wish I just pushed all the components back in the box. No, I spend the time to bag them all up. Actually, having them in a pile like we had them last night, it 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 just eats at my yeah. <laughs> oh, it eats at my sensibilities. But that but that's okay. We separate everything out, put them all in their own individual baggies at the end of the game. Um, and uh, pretty soon uh, I will have a big box to store all of this in that you, uh, you know, that, uh, well, hopefully everyone had a chance to get through the Portal Games website. Howdy from the UK. Hello, hey. MD Day. We're very glad to have you here. 
how this will work solo. Um, so I will say this one is tricky solo for the Yurvart clan because um, I don't think there's any official clarification yet on how they are going to work solo because they do have ambush tokens. This faction would be fine. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah. Playing well, just solo. Like any of the others. So yeah. the Boudicca clan, I don't see any issues playing solo. Um, I haven't seen any official posts yet on how to play the Yurvart clan uh, solo. So if we have any of our portal staff in chat, maybe they can answer that question. Um, so have you kept your three cards? I have kept my three cards. All right, just to, let now... just to let everybody know, I'm keeping cards that will allow me to spend resources to gain points and uh, unexhaust a card and then put a ambush token on my opponent. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm keeping cards that let me sail with rafts, which is great because I start off with two rafts and a boat um, and a ship. So sailing with rafts is a really good ability and uh, thing, ways to get axes, which is a good a good thing for this. This clan likes to sail a lot if they can. Um, and so, and this one uh, lets me assign fish to boats that I sail with. So I've, I'm, I've got a little sailing engine that I'm gonna hopefully build up here. All right, so uh, randomly we have determined that David gets to go first. Uh, we have uh, done, yeah, we've done our starting resources, so we're gonna go to Lookout. So we draw four cards and keep as many as we want. We have a very interesting choice, as Ignacy was saying earlier today when they played this. So we can keep as many cards as we want, but we have to pay workers for the cards that we keep. Oh, um, man. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. Look out, buddy. I'm keeping it. Actually, should I keep both of those? Oh, I want to keep that. But should I, though? But should you? That's probably a good question for you. I mean, should I? Should I, I mean it's a good question for me. You shouldn't. Ugh. I mean you should. You well, definitely I, I, should. I most definitely did. I kept them. <laughs> I kept all those cards. Uh, so I kept a card that's going to allow me to spend a worker to gain a gold and a point, and then a di uh, activate another card. And then I kept a spy that will let me reveal an island and sail, which is another new mechanic uh, that the uh, Yurvart clan has, where I can reveal an additional island into play before I do certain things. And then I kept another trophy case. I like this card. It's just spend three resources of the same type to oh, gain geez. three points. And there's nothing bad about that. All these cards are good. I'm keeping all three of them. I've got cards that give me points for the amount of boats or rafts I have on the expedition board. Um, I have cards cool. that let me uh, uh, spend two different resources to gain a, a ship. Um, and then I have cards that let me... Um, uh, rem um, remove one of my ships and gain a raft so and a point so I can upgrade my rafts to ships uh, so I've got stuff that I may not play this round but I've got good cards in my hand I've got a so good starting base you've got options I've got options <laughs> and since I get to go first I'm gonna go ahead and the very first thing I'm gonna do is harvest and I'm gonna go ahead and harvest um, let's harvest fish do we harvest fish yeah we harvest fish all right so and david's david's faction works a bit differently with harvesting so he has two symbols on all of his cards he has a raft symbol and a ship symbol and he has to spend those from his supply like workers when he harvests so he just got two fish, which means he'll need to spend a raft like it's a worker, and he'll get it back every round. And I had a boost that let me harvest to build my Drowning Dutchman's Pillage, which lets me pillage axes. So I pillaged an axe there, so I got an axe, and I'm ready to go. That's your turn. Nice. All right, can you build out this way instead of that Right, way? right, sorry, right. Sorry, sorry. build on camera. We're trying to, yeah, yep. sorry. We're trying to keep everything in frame, and uh, this one's a bit harder to keep in frame than the <laughs> Rise of the Empire game we played last night. Um, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best and see what we can do. We'll get there. Um, all right. So let's see here. I am going to uh, take an action, I think, first off. So one of my basic fields just says spend a worker to place an ambush token on any opponent's uh, card. And if there are multiple players uh, playing this game, more than, more than two or three players, you can actually spend uh, two workers, three workers to do this multiple times. So you can put this uh, ambush token on all of your opponent's cards at once by taking this action. Since I'm only playing one opponent, I just get to do this for David. And to answer your question, yes, I do put rafts on the spent worker space when I spend rafts. So some of my cards... Which you did. You did to harvest. To harvest? Oh, right. Right, right yeah, right, yeah. Right. So to harvest a card, you have to spend a raft or a boat. So David could have spent a ship as well, 
But the trouble with that is if you spend a ship, you can't sail with that ship. And ships are the only thing that can sail unless he has a card that allows him to do otherwise, which he does if he draws it. Yes. Um, okay, uh, so I did that action. I think it's back over to you. All right. So let's see here. Um, yes, good question, fighter fan. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, man. I want to do everything. You could always concede to me. Oh, that's true. You've I yet keep, to take I that action. I keep forgetting about that you've action. You've yet to take that action. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's not actually written in this rule book. Oh, boy, what a fool you are. <laughs> I've written it in every other rule book. I know. <laughs> oh, it's the unwritten rule that exists in every rule book. You can just take the concede to Paul action. Save uh, yourself a lot of time. I'm building my raft away teams that lets me sail with rafts or boats. So I'm building that there, and that's my turn. Okay. With so a sheep. You're building it with a sheep. Yep, I spent a sheep. All right, nice. Nice. So that's a location that's out for you? It's an action for me. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put it up here where we can see? Sorry. I'm... Oh, you can't see it down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If we build like a line. Yeah, so you have a second row, and then we just kind of have Got to go it. out okay. here. So yeah. normally I build in three rows, so it's... it's I know. Row. Yeah, <laughs> it's the holdover <laughs> from Imperial Settlers. Um, okay, cool. I am going to um, go ahead. I think I'm going to spend a wood to build Spy on Deck. So Spy on Deck is an action card. And it allows me to spend a worker and one resource to reveal an island and then immediately sail. As a bonus action, or a building bonus rather, I get to retrieve one worker. So, Oh yeah, no, they're asking about how we're, we're anal and we keep our resources on the production <laughs> cards. Yeah, that's just us being uh, you know, hyper weird about how we organize our things. Uh, normally it's just a pile. You're right, but we're weird, and we uh, we keep our stuff on the on the cards. I'll start probably piling them up as the game goes on. But um... so Tommy, you are correct. Uh, rafts can only pillage nearby islands. You still have to have some type of ability that allows you to put them on the expedition board. Uh, but once they are on the expedition board, they cannot sail to distant islands. They can't conquer anything. They can just pillage nearby islands. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, no joke, MD Day. Okay, so Luke played Ray's <laughs> tactics with David one time at Gamma or something, and then all of a sudden now I play with David, who is who has always been as Care Bear as I am, and he's like, Whoa. I'm going to raise your building. Hey, I'm like, not backstabbing. What? You're the one putting uh, ambush tokens on me. So, well, yeah, to be well, fair, yeah. to be fair, that's what my clan <laughs> likes to do. We yeah. send out spies. You like to ambush. And it doesn't hurt you. It just helps me. <laughs> that's right. Um... All right, is it over to me? It is over to you. Okay. I sailed, and I sailed with a with an axe. Oh, you with brought a ship. the one axe required to I conquer brought that the one land. axe. Did you bring the axe? <laughs> I brought the axe! <laughs> we brought the axe! We're good! <laughs> All right, I'm going to spend a worker, and I'll spend an apple to uh, reveal an island and sail. So I'm going to reveal a nearby island. Sorry, there's not room. We'll just put it up here for now. We're having to kind of play with our table space here. And then I'm going to sail uh, with not else but a boat, I think. Uh, I might... No, I'll, I'll keep... I'll, I'll, I'll not use a fish right now. So that's my action. All right. I'm going to uh, spend a stone to build this action that lets me spend a worker uh, fish and remove one of my uh, boats or rafts to gain one boat or raft and a point. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good card. Yeah. Inspired Planker. Hello, forensics man. <laughs> yeah, you've probably beaten Detective like five times already. Probably. With all your forensics. Uh, okay. That's right, and we are playing Barbarian, so backstabbing is thematic. It's just part of the game. Yeah, it's part of the game. and I will, say, I will say, these Barbarians feel a little bit less take thatty yeah. than than the base right uh, imperial settlers barbarians i've actually i've really enjoyed playing this clan so far um i'm enjoying it uh, i might like the japanese the best but I, I i'm really enjoying this one a little bit more than the romans currently so um all right i'm gonna go harvest i'm gonna send i'm gonna send this guy to harvest treasure whatever that is in that chest and when i do that oh there it is sorry uh, when i do that i get to play this boost card so i'm gonna unexhaust 
this spy on deck action. Um, and so I will harvest a wood and a fish. For this man has not beaten detective. He just got to watch, unfortunately. But oh no, that's okay. <laughs> spend uh, well, you've got a leg up with your forensics. All right, that's right. I'm going to spend a sheep and a fish to build blob fishing, which I love the artwork on. It's great. It's this horrible, amazing blob fish. Um, and he's great that they've, they've caught him and harpooned him, it looks like. Can you imagine Can you imagine being the fisherman on that boat? And you're like, ah, it's kind of big. I think it's kind of a big fish. And then you, <laughs> you, you like pull up the kraken. <laughs> the, the gigantic blobfish kraken. Uh, this lets me spend a worker to assign a fish from the general supply to any boat on the expedition board. And if I assign one to mine, I get one point. If I assign one to Paul's, I get two points. So that's actually a pretty cool. Uh, then that's my turn. You know, I love the charity, but I hate the points. Um, uh, I haven't drawn my favorite card yet, so I, I don't know if I don't know if I think it was Timothy was in chat last night was asking what my favorite uh, empires or imperial settlers art is. It's in this deck. It's the desperate thieves that steal our neighbor's snowmen. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> this is an awful crime. No reward. All right, I'm going to spend one fish to build uh, the little shoplifter. So the little shoplifter allows me to spend a worker to gain a gold or a point, and then I can immediately activate a card with the saber tag on it. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, activate my um, blob fishing and spend a worker to assign a fish from the general supply to my boat. I was thinking about doing it for Paul's boat, but I want to be able to sail to the faraway islands, I think. Um, yeah, you could capture the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Yeah, I could capture the Minotaur's Labyrinth, which would be great. Um, and I also, so another thing about this clan is they have um, they have things that get me points for capture for conquered islands, although some of the nearby islands wouldn't be bad for me either, but these faraway islands seem to be a little bit better. Yeah, and I've revealed an extra one too. So you have three, cho you oh, have three yes. choices. Yeah, and you have three choices. One. Someone so. had their Weedabix. MD Day. What are Weedabix? <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Texas. We have Wheaties. Is that like is that like the equivalent of Wheaties? Do you know what Wheaties are? Um, James, no, I have not. I have not seen any of the cards in the Egyptian Kings expansion, but I cannot wait based on a little bit that they oh, revealed. Yeah. I don't know if uh, David David's actually working for the company, so he might have gotten a little bit more info than nope. I did. But I have not I have not gotten oh, any more info. But I'm so super excited. excited. Uh, the Nile mechanic sounds really cool. Oh, and I've already gotten my point from the last time we were practicing this game. So <laughs> I keep on the internet. <laughs> Wheaties, Wheaties are great. They don't taste great, but they're they're a big deal for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> they're not great at all. They're they make you do sports good, <laughs> and I don't even think they do. They're cornflakes. They're I I think or wheat, yeah. they're wheat flakes. I don't know what they are. I've never had them. They're wheat flakes. They're not they're not sweetened. So they're I not, say they're not get tasty. out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Terrible cereal. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> What, you've had a business that's been successful for 40 years? Well, you're not that great, <laughs> says one guy. <laughs> On the internet. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spend... Oh, man, I wish I had I wish I wish had a saber tag that I could do this cool combo with, but I don't. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to go ahead and spend... Uh, okay, I know what I'll do. Before I do that, I'm going to populate. So I'm going to play this boost card that allows me to uh, choose an opponent. Uh, you! Uh, and you have to either discard one random card from your hand or let me place a ambush token on any field or action location in your empire. I think I'd much rather let you place an ambush token because okay. <laughs> I don't want to lose any, either one of these cards. I need them both. They're very valuable oh. to me. I'll um, take it. Oh, and then I actually get to populate. Sorry, I always forget to do the action that's like associated with the boost. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm trying to decide which boost I want to do because I only have one more action token to spend and I have no food. Oh, Casa Pillar. I, this is bugging the heck out of me. I didn't have a ton of time to set things up before the stream, so our close-up cam is not working correctly. He wants to, They want to see the Blobfish card. Up oh, close. yeah. Um, let me do this. I'll. Can, can you... Um, all right. Oh, eh. There we go. Well, here. There's the blobfish card. Let's do it. There we go. Here we go. 
All right, there's the blobfish art. Look at how awesome. It is awesome. That is a chunky so boy great. right there. Yeah, Look at that. It is. Oh my goodness. That's that's great. I love that yeah. art. All right. Um, we'll, we'll try to get less distracted with Weedabix and uh, <laughs> we will okay. Struct. We will not get done uh, with a full game. I, I do apologize. This is mainly to give you an idea of how the expansion plays um, and see some of the new mechanics. So we will have to stop early. And I don't remember if I if I talked about that when our audio was out, but we won't finish a full game, not even close. Um, uh, I'm gaining a ship with my instant card here. I had to spend two resources to do that. I spent my a fish in the stone. That's that. All right, so I am going to spend one worker. I'm going to activate the spy on deck again. Uh, so I spend a worker and a resource to gain, uh, reveal an island, and then sail. So I'll reveal another common island. I revealed the witch island filled with witches. Spend one resource to gain one resource. Awesome. Building bonus of a gold. Um, mm. So I'll place this out. Meow. All right, and I'm going to spend a worker and a fish to activate my inspired planker, and I will turn my lowly raft into a mighty ship. Okay. Now I have three ships. <laughs> ben. Faster, faster. Yeah, we do have to play faster. Sorry, I'm sweating. They did so play much in pressure. Five minutes. You're right. I should pay attention. Uh, okay, let's All see. All right, your turn. My turn. Sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to spend a worker to activate this card and get a point. Ignazi's here. Portalcon attendees, thank you for being with us. Hey, Ignazi. How's oh, it going? Ignazi, how are you? <laughs> We're trying to get finished with this game in 45 minutes. I'm passing. Okay, well... But, but like Ignazi, I've made a master play. I have, I have seven cards out. I didn't get nine cards out in my first round like he did, but I got seven cards oh out. Oh my gosh, so. well... No, and I got three ships. Neither one of it. I'm not doing that, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, I will, I'm out of uh, things that I can do. I don't have an apple to activate one of my, one of my pawns here, so I'm going to go ahead and pass as well. Um, so we'll move on to the expedition phase. So David, you get to go first. I get to go first and I get to conquer a faraway island and I want to conquer the island that lets me trade stone for axes to populate and gain an axe. Yeah, tropical. They just don't have time for all the tomfoolery that David and I take part in. They That's did, right. They did invent speed empires of the north. They did, yeah. All right, so I've done that. Um, all right, so I'm going to pillage twice. And I think the things that I need, uh, let's see here, yes. definitely these two things. I'm going to pillage uh, Witch Island and Flying Frog Island to get three points and two wood. One, two, three, and two wood. Because I like the sound of that. All right. Minotaur's Labyrinth gets me two stone. So then now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and discard these over here. So now we're on to the cleanup phase. And then I get to be first. Woohoo! All right. Yep. We're going to be first this time. We get to do our lookout. All right. So I haven't seen uh, my favorite cards come up yet, which allow me to gain points for having ambush tokens out. That's my favorite engine to kind of get going, is have ambush tokens out, um, which will give me some bonuses here and there. I'll get resources whenever David activates certain buildings. And if he doesn't activate them and they stay there, that's perfectly fine because I can activate cards that say get points for however many things are uh, out on an opponent's empire. So we get all of our workers back. All of that is done. We get our things back. Boom, boom. Where my ships go? Oh, they're over here. All right. And then I'm first player. So we're going to go ahead and go to the lookout phase again. Oh, I could have activated this last time. Oh, well, I'll activate it this time. It's fine. Do it, bro. Nope. Okay. You'll be cheating. Okay. We have an asterisk stamp. We can just make it work. <laughs> All right. Four cards. Let's see what I get. Yes, I got it. All right, here's my favorite artwork. You ready? This is my favorite artwork in Imperial Settlers. These are the desperate thieves. They're stealing their neighbor's <laughs> snowmen. <laughs> that is not worth the crime. <laughs> like, it's going to melt in a matter of hours. But it actually is a really good action, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, that one's okay. Let's oh, see here. I'm gonna keep these two. That's pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, those seem good. I'm gonna get rid of these two. Uh, Ring around the Romans. Uh, that's actually a pretty good card, but I don't have a solid way to get a ton of apples just yet, so I'm not gonna focus on that strategy. So I'm getting rid of those two. I'm gonna spend two of my workers 
to keep two cards. And I think I'm going to spend... I'm going to spend three. Spending three, but I have a way to populate. So I'm just going to, I've got a, got a plan here. All right. I've got a plan. All right. Well, I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to spend a worker to build one of my other favorite cards, the trophy case. I love the trophy case. All right. I'm going to uh, populate. Spend my two stone here to populate and gain an axe. So I will populate and gain an axe. All right, sweet. So I'm going to immediately activate the trophy case and then spend three resources. Oh, sorry. I didn't get my building bonus. I should get a wood. I'm cheating already. Uh, spend three resources cheating, cheating, of the same, <laughs> the same type to gain three points. Chug, 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 chug. One, two, three. Oh, you're pulling so far ahead of me in points, but that's okay. I've, like I said, I've got my plan. We're going we're to see if I can put this plan in action. Um, you've already used both of your pawns? No, I didn't get them back last time. Oh, I haven't goodness. used either of the pawns. You stop cheating! <laughs> Cut it out! I, no more cheating! Oh, no, no, I've, I've ruined the illusion. You can see my hand. No more cheating! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want to build this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest with a ship. Um, and I put my ship here, correct? Yes. To harvest with it. Yeah. Oh, you're harvesting with the big boy. Yeah. So what are you, which card are you harvesting? I'm harvesting this one. So you get a fish. Yeah. Wait, do you have a fish in your supply? No, I don't. So then I get a gold. Oh, you get a gold. Yeah. I like it. So that is what the ambush tokens do. Now the ambush token is removed. Um, which, you know, is, it's okay. I, I, I wish they would stay out there, but that gives me a gold, which is great. So that's kind of the main interaction that the, uh, the, sorry, your, your Bert clan has. Your Bart, sorry, your Bart. And did you, uh, finish your yep, action? I finished my action. Okay. I just harvested. All right, sweet. So then I am going to construct, and I have a, a construct boost card that says gain an apple, and then additionally gain a card or a worker, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a card. So I'm going to gain a card and an apple. And then I'm going to construct my favorite desperate thieves here and send them out to start looking for snow people. All right. And I am going to, since I actually really, really need fish this time, I'm going to harvest more fish with another ship and harvest three more fish. Oh man. And I have a bunch of fish. Although that, that might come back and bite me, but I, I need this to get some stuff built. Okay. All right, so I think I am going to spend a wood and a fish to build the ancient mother goddess. This is just a feature that says each time you pillage, gain a wood or a point, and I'm gonna get a building bonus of an ax. I've got the one I need. All right, I'm going to spend uh, a worker and uh, actually I'm going to spend a fish to sail using a raft or a boat. And since I have a boat, I will sail with a boat and I'll sail with an axe as well since I have that axe. And we all know that I can assign my fish later. That's a good act. That's a good ability. Great and gets me points. All right. Um, so. I am going to spend one of my workers and activate my Desperate Thieves to put an ambush token on an action card in your empire. So I will pick, what's an action card that you haven't activated? Oh, I get a point for when I updated my raft, but I haven't activated that one. That one. I was just looking at it. <laughs> so uh, I'll do that one. I'm going to spend, and, and I'm going to activate it. So I'm going to spend a worker and a fish. So you have a ton of fish? I have a ton of fish. So I get a fish. To activate this guy to upgrade my raft to a boat. That comes back to me. All right. So I am... All right, sorry, we're trying to watch chat. Ignacy is answering lots of questions. Yes. So absolutely keep Which asking Ignacy questions. He's the one to answer the, all the questions. <laughs> He's going to know way more than we will. Yeah, that's correct. 
Uh, so that was me. I activated that guy and you All got right. your thing. Sweet. So I am going to spend another worker to do another ambush token. Um, and this one can I can pick fields or or action cards. So I'm going to pick that one right there. All right. That was a terrible move because I have no more action pawns to spend this time. No, so. I want it to stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to spend a, I'm going to assign a worker, uh, spend one worker to assign a fish to a ship on the board and gain a point. So I'll put a fish there and gain a point. And I'm slowly catching up, slowly. Although he's he's got a point generation engine that I do not have. All right, so I'm gonna spend, uh, let's see here. I now have, I could have done that with one action earlier. So I need to start, I need to start thinking about that. I now have a saber tag uh, card so I can start activating it with this one right here. But I'm gonna spend a worker um, to, let's see here. I'm gonna gain, I'm gonna gain a gold. I'm gonna gain a gold instead of a point. All right, and I'm gonna spend a fish to build um, my raft wrestling. My raft wrestling lets me um, uh, spend two different resources to either retrieve a person and gain an ax, or gain one point and move my boat up one position on the expedition board queue which is great for me if I'm ever behind on the expedition board. All right, sorry, we had a rules question of something. Ignacy, the rules definitely say to remove the ambush tokens. Um, yes, you are supposed to remove the ambush tokens whenever they are they are done. I think I've been doing that, right? Let me he know. has removed them whenever they've been done so far. Let me know if I if I forget. I don't want to I don't want to need to use this asterisk. He stand. he put an asterisk. Uh, he put an ambush token on this after I harvested it twice. So it had already been harvested twice yeah. before he Put okay. that on there. Sweet. So I am going to um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to populate. So I will populate right here and get a worker, and that's my action. All right. I'm going to spend another fish to get another raft wrestling out here. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend a worker and a resource, so I will spend a fish. Um, yeah, I'll spend a fish uh, as my resource. I get to reveal an island and then sail. So I think I'm going to reveal a nearby island, and then I will sail right, sail right there. And I believe I am passing, because I think all I have left are a couple of fish and... Nothing to do with fish just yet, but I will have something to do with fish. So that is that. Well, fish better be worried. They better <laughs> be like a threat towards <laughs> fish. Right. I will Those have something to do with fish. Have something to do with you. All right, I'm gonna spend an apple and uh, flip this over to sail again. And I think this time, I think this time I'm going to put an axe on the on the boat. You're taking the axe. I'm gonna send the axe. All right, I'm passed. All right, you're passed. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass as well. I do have some resources that I could use, but I don't think I can use them to do anything productive. So I think we're on to the expedition phase. We're expediting, <laughs> and I know which island I'm taking. I'm taking the gold island. Uh, the gold island has a building bonus of one gold. Fantasy Tales Island. You get one gold, and it lets you spend one gold to get two gold. So it is a great Once again, island. the people on that island don't understand how economics oh, and markets work. I think they understand perfectly. I'll take your one gold and give you two. <laughs> We're going to be rich in no time. Rich in no time. All you right. pay a dollar to come in and just pick up gold off the ground. <laughs> By the way, we're running out of gold very quickly. If you have any more gold. We could use it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pillage one of the islands here. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pillage, uh, bah, 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 let's see here. I think I'm going to pillage this island to get two apples. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to pillage this island. Um, yeah, I'm going to pillage this island to get two apples and a point. So I'll get one point, I'll get two apples. 
And then I'm going to conquer this island, and I get a building bonus of an apple and a stone. Yeah, so somebody's asking if there's a less violent way to play uh, Imperial Settlers Rise of the Empire. The interesting thing about his ambush tokens is they don't hurt me at all. Um, so actually, this is a very non-confrontational game. Um, so basically, uh, when we're playing Rise of the Empire, unless I take my raise tokens and actually raise his um, locations or his actions, all it does is exhaust that card for one round. So it's not really all that punishing. There's not a lot to take that in this game. Um, it's a pretty non-violent game. Yeah, so this one this one is less has less take that than the original um, Imperial Settlers. Um, because now, it, it can stink if you have built up this massive combo and then somebody raises your one, or rage your one card and exhausts it. But there are ways to unexhaust the cards, and that's really all they can do, right? So if they spend an axe, they're spending one of the hard to get axes to exhaust your card. So it's not not always the best decision, but it can, you know, it can, you just gotta look out for it. All right, so we're in the cleanup phase. Um, let's see here. And then you're gonna be first player this round, but we'll need to look out first. How are we doing on time? All right, so we're probably gonna probably gonna go for oh, geez. seven, twelve more minutes, maybe <laughs> before we definitely we definitely need to um, give everybody time to go take a break, uh, order some pizza, you know, uh, finish that song. Finally, I don't know. You can't do that in ten minutes. We're, we're give give you a little bit of time to take a break, yeah, and prepare. Um, boy, I kept some. Good cards, and I also just found out why you would want to exchange a boat for a raft. So, and we'll yeah. find out on this round. Oh, well, good. I'm excited. It'll give you a good example. I'm excited. Um, so, I need to get these back, and then I think now we're ready to look out. Yep. And actually, I already did look out, and I okay. kept, I kept three of my cards. Well, you're going first, so while you, I will very quickly look over these cards while you. Uh, All right, and I will spend a fish here. to sail using a boat or a raft, and I will sail there. I don't have any axes to send, but I will sail without one. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Um, and oh, and sorry, I had a boost for okay, sailing. Do it. Do your boost. Um, sail to build my. Uh, Gonna keep these. Secure a ship ransack. I'm ransacking the Japanese for their apples. Oh man! <laughs> so I'm taking their apples. What did they do to you? Um, and when I build this, do I have to spend my boat? No. Okay. Not but I just get the rafts. Yes, when you're building fields, you don't have to spend a raft or a boat, and you gain the uh, resources that are in the top row, which is also what you do at the start of the game. You gain what's on the raft row to gain the starting resources of the game. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend these three apples to gain three points. Golly. One, two, three. All right, and we don't have the wraparound board either because we're heathens. <laughs> we're barbarians. Uh, we are barbarians. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and spend my one gold to gain two gold. That's just a gimme. Tomatoes. Okay, Ignacy, if you are still in chat, MD Day says they say tomatoes. I first thought these were tomatoes too. Or I think they're apples, right? They're apples, I believe. Um, uh, yes, Kevin. Apples for the win. <laughs> uh apples ignazi says it it's official yeah yeah um yes kevin the order of placing the boats uh at the end is how you will choose islands at the end of the round so whoever right. places at the top gets to choose first and then you go down in in order after okay. that uh is that me or you i just uh got two gold okay so i need to go i am going to oh man i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i need to pay attention at the end of this round Okay, so um, I will go ahead and spend a worker to place an ambush token on one of your action cards. And I'll go on that one. No, wait, that one. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, spend two different resources. No, wait, I'm going to uh, spend a worker and a fish to remove a boat to gain a raft. And a point. Um, and I'll need that raft, and you'll see why. Okay. All right. 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna spend a gold as a wood and then build the hasty heist. Say that 10 times fast. Don't really. <laughs> it's impossible. No one can do it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend. Um, I'm gonna spend uh, gold as a fish to build the uh, Britannia Bridge, which lets me uh, spend a raft and a sheep to gain one point for each conquered island, and to get a building bonus of a gold or an axe. I'm gonna go ahead and take the gold. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate the hasty heist and spend a worker and a gold as a fish. To get a point for every ambush token that's out, so I get three points. All right, we spend a raft and a sheep. A gold is a sheep uh, to get two points. To all right, and that was me that activated I need to, that. I need to do some harvesting. Um, I need some things. So what am I going to do? Um, I think. You know what, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead, I should have done that earlier, but I'll go ahead and I'll spend uh, a worker to place another ambush token out. And I can pick field or action card, so I'll just do it on that field. All right. Um... All right, we are up to 15 minutes, so we'll go maybe a few more minutes. Uh, I don't know that okay. we'll finish this round, and then we'll, we'll give our, our next streamer some time to prepare. All right, I'm gonna spend a gold as a stone here to build my War Chief of Terror, um, which uh, doesn't let me use my War Chief of Terror, but that's okay. Uh, we're not gonna finish this game, so yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna get it built. All right, um, you can immediately activate that card. I haven't been using this. Uh, I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub. Uh, let's, let's do this. I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest. I'm going to harvest, um, and I need a wood. So I'm going to get this wood and fish. All right. I'm also going to harvest. I'm going to harvest with a uh, ship to get stone and get three stone here. All right, I'm spending a wood that I just gained to build this card right here, the low key theft, which will give me more ways to place out, more ways to place out ambush tokens. All right, I'm gonna harvest sheep here. Um, so I'm gonna harvest three sheep. All right, I'm gonna spend a worker to activate the little shop lifter. And this one, I'll get a point when that activates and then it says additionally I can activate a card with a saber. So I'll activate this card, spend a worker to place an ambush token. Um, and it has to be on a field. So I'll place an ambush token right there. All right, and I'm gonna spend a uh, worker and two different resources to gain two points. So I will spend a stone and a sheep, spend a worker and two different resources to gain two points. One, two. All right. Um, I need to get some workers so that I can say, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to sail right here. Take that action. All right. And I'm going to, um, uh, dang it. I need to be able to do that, but I can't. You know what, I'll go ahead and spend my food to populate because I need more people. All right, I think it's about out of time for us. Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna pass. Uh, I'm gonna pass and we are, we'll try and, um, depending on what all, what all if you're passing, I'm just gonna do stuff. Do you have to do, yeah. I can construct. Let's see if we can finish this round and then uh, let, let our friends take it. We're gonna have an epic contest next. We are, we're gonna be having uh, Rolling Dice and Taking Names on. Yes. Uh, and that's gonna be fantastic. Eric Link is gonna be hosting that, which will be super awesome. That will be super awesome. I think I'm passing. I might have done some more stuff if I had more time to think, but. Uh, There's no time to think. Yes, I, I would. I would have assigned <laughs> a fish here and gotten a point for that. And I wish we had more time, but we have no more time. We have no more time. We gotta get out of here. Uh, yeah, I might have had more stuff to do, but who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, we go to the expedition phase.
Um, you get to go first. And I will pillage uh, for a point and three resources, which at this point is just going to be points uh, because we're ending. So I'll pillage for fish, food, sheep, and point. Sweet. Oh gosh, I was. Oh, sorry. Where was I? Sorry about that. You were you were like way up here. I was on fifteen or sixteen. So uh, I'm just gonna pillage uh, right here and get a uh, an apple, a stone, and a point, and then I get a point whenever I pillage. So I'm gonna gain two points. So uh, everybody, yes. Uh, thanks so much, MD Day. Um, thanks, James. This this was definitely the idea was just to give you an idea of how the factions play. Once again, the different clans play um, in different ways. I really like what the Year of Art clan does, uh, having these ambush tokens out. As you can see, I now have cards that can utilize those ambush tokens to really generate some cool points. If David removes those, then um, you know I just get some resources, which it's, it's good either way. Um, and then David has some really cool things going on with the Boudicca clan as well. He has some really cool interactions with boats yeah. and rafts. And so basically I have abilities now that let me harvest using rafts um, with my action cards that let me gain uh, points for how many rafts and boats I have on the board. So a couple of different, a uh, couple of different, um... oh, I don't know. They may be talking about something else. What's up? Oh, I think, uh, I think Penguin is maybe talking about soccer. Maybe. Yeah, I think football. Sorry. <laughs> Soccer here. That's right. Football everywhere Soccer else. <laughs> everywhere else in the world except for here in our progressive country. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. We're going to try and hop off uh, and give Eric time to prepare things uh, because you're definitely going to want to see what's coming up next. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure and tune in um, for this awesome contest. And uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any more questions, absolutely still engage with us. Uh, hop in chat and we'll try and answer things as we can. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stop, uh, stop streaming. And then we will see you later on tonight for our Q&A session with the whole yes. U.S. team. Yes. But next, be very excited for the contest with Rolling Dice and Taking Names. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.